What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the Williams RTG Here today for round 2 at the Monaco Grand Prix Obviously it's a bit random, I'm doing a custom season so Last time out in Bahrain, this time out in Monaco and then it's Canada next But if you want to enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to But qualifying, the most of qualifying most important qualifying on the calendar we get our lap time deleted but I'm just gonna let this play out and then we'll get into the race and the juicy stuff as well Nelson Piquet once said that driving the circuit de Monaco was like riding a bicycle around your living room and it's not hard to see what he means by that there's no more prestigious a Grand Prix victory than Monaco, but also none so challenging. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco then. It's not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here today but I'm curious as a man with experience out on the track how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one it's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous those pre-race nerves are a good thing the day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore and of course you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Bottas, Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Norris. Sainz, Vettel, Gasly, and Daniel Ricciardo. Sonoda, Ocon, Brown, and Raikkonen. Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, Nikita Mazepin, and Lance Stroll. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Russell and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So the race pretty much a one stop. I was debating whether to start on the softs or the hards and then go to the mediums. I decided for the soft be a bit more aggressive and that's what those around us decided to do as well. But here we go then, start of the Monaco Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go, it's Mercedes v Red Bull at the, at the front but we're more interested to what we're doing at the back. Down the inside we go of and Aston Martin there was side by side with Sebastian Vettel was still side by side but I have to lift off otherwise there would have been contact between us and the German driver but I've made some few, few positions at the start we'll have another look down the inside of Sebastian Vettel but that, that Aston Martin is a lot quicker than our Williams but Round Monaco, all that goes out the window as Lance Stroll is in the pits having a front wing change. What has happened to Lance Stroll? And that's what's happened to Lance Stroll. Is it the back of the Alfa Romeo going into turn one at the start? And that's wrecked his race. Moving on now to lap two, you can see that we are just, just inside the points for P10. So they've had a good start, can we stay here, can we get Williams first points since Germany 2019 with Robert Kubica. We're all over the back of Sebastian Vettel which really surprised me the pace that I had because although obviously the cars are different obviously but the, the performance of them but it's much more driver skill though as we skip on to lap 12 because it's 
there's not going to be that much of action it's Monaco but I decided we were meant to pit on up 12 anyway Vettel stayed out so this was actually a really good chance to try the undercut and see if we can beat out Sebastian Vettel onto the mediums we go but we've been held up there by those in front Pierre Gasly being one of them as we will come out in 16th place and hopefully we can get a hammer down can we beat out Sebastian Vettel as here is Sebastian Vettel leading the race as he comes in to make his one and only stop as well have we done enough this is the main thing into the pits puts on the medium same strategy as us and our trundles down the pit lane and the anticipation builds have we done it or have we got to stare at the back of this Aston Martin a bit longer there's Sebastian Vettel we've done it we've jumped the Aston Martin in the pit stop and yes get in there we needed that we were so much more quicker than the Aston Martin and now there may be a chance for us to grab a few more points because those slower cars are holding everyone up as we send it down the inside of Pierre Gasly at the Lone's hairpin we are not messing about but do say so myself that is a great move it was brave and now we're on the back of Carlos Sainz can we get past the Spaniard before to bow to the outside and we're going to think about it again into Anthony Nose but it's Monaco it's hard to overtake 99.9% .9 impossible but there though we sent it down the inside it's a horrible camera angle but we are past Carlos Sainz and we're into P12 but there's still many in front of us that haven't pitted and up next is the Italian of Antonio Giovinazzi who we had that great battle with at the end of the Grand Prix in Bahrain and we send it straight down the inside of him into turn one and we're past the Italian and we're up into P11 and next up the road is Mick Schumacher we've pulled away Giovinazzi's holding them up and down the inside into Anthony Noakes we've gone and Schumacher and Mick has hit the wall down at Anthony Noakes the final corner the worst place to hit the wall now he's got to do an entire lap of Monaco understeering everywhere as we have caught the back of Charles Leclerc Lando Norris and Kimi Raikkonen is holding him up holding both of them up in the Alfa Romeo those slower cars still not pitting but if we're going to get past them we need to get past them soon Kimi pits and our opportunity is gone because that Ferrari that McLaren much much quicker as Daniel Ricciardo comes out behind us so we've actually managed to split the McLarens but as you can see here Charles and Lando went miles at the road and we are left with the Australian all over the back of us and it's only going to be a matter of time before he overtakes us we've had a massive moment there and down the inside goes Daniel Ricciardo he backs out though going into Anthony Noakes and now has he got a run on us can he get the job done no but now into Mirabeau he gets the job done it had been coming lap after lap he was breathing down my neck and you can't be annoyed at that that McLaren is miles ahead of our car but we we had some good pace we were we were much quicker than Yuki Tsunoda behind us so we we're just on our own for the rest of the race bit of a dull race typical Monaco race though just minding our own business there was a slight chance of rain towards the end of the Grand Prix as you can see though we're keeping the gap behind we're keeping the gap in front because now Daniel Ricciardo has ended up catching Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc but as we skip on here lap 38 you can see the rain 
has started to come down. There was about 70 odd percent chance, because I put it on approximate, which is what should be. But round the final corner, Lewis Hamilton is going to win in Monaco, which I think is it for his fourth or fifth win here. Max Sergio Perez follows in home from Valtteri Bottas. Charles Leclerc is gonna come home for P4. We had two retirements of Lance Stroll who had that incident at the start and Fernando Alonso. Charles Leclerc comes home for P4. Lando Norris followed by his teammate. So then we are going to come home if we can negotiate the final sector and not put it in the barrier. Round the swimming pool you can see the rain through where Charles Leclerc crashed. And we are going to round the final two corners. And we are going to pick up Williams' first points since Germany 2019. They've done it then. They've won here in Monaco with an emphatic performance and a victory they can be proud of for years to come. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Brown. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Not bad, not bad driver of the day, going from P13 up to P7. Williams' first points since Robert Kubica in Germany 2019. There is some mag magic in Monaco. Back into the HQ we go now for the R&D and I'm going to be focused heavily on the chassis and the aero side because we all know the Williams is an absolute boat of a car. How George gets it into Q3, I don't know. He just drives the wheels off of it. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. The next race is in Canada and I will see you then. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in Canada where hopefully we can get some more points.